Hey, today I'll be talking about episodes 66 through 67 of Legend of Jinhuan. With the Emperor lusting after Yu Rao, Jinhuan worries about her sister's future. She has a chat with her. Yu Rao admits that she really likes the 19th prince. Jinhuan decides it's best for Yu Rao to marry as quickly as possible so the Emperor can't force her to marry him. She also enlists Huan Bi's help, wanting to find a distraction for the Emperor in the meantime, like a toddler. Huan Bi picks the best looking girl among her servants and tells her she will be sent to the palace to seduce the Emperor. Well, seduce is giving him too much credit. Everyone in the house respects and loves Go Wang, plus it's hard to reject your master's wife's request, so the servant, Tai Ping, agrees to go. But she clearly doesn't want to. She makes it to the palace and the Emperor takes a liking to her. In no time, she's a second class female attendant. Li Rong's father becomes involved in an extortion case. Apparently, he stole a lot of money and the Emperor is pissed. Jin Huan and Xin Guiren had a hand in this. They didn't plant any evidence, but they caught and exposed him. Ling Rong, of course, pleads for leniency for her father. Jin Huan doesn't miss the opportunity to gloat. Referencing when her father was in prison and Ling Rong had rats sent into his cell. Jin Huan goes to see the emperor and after some prodding, makes Ling Rong's situation even worse. At this point, I'm like, is Jin Huan the bad guy now? Ling Rong goes to beg the Empress for help. The Empress tells her the only way out for her is to get pregnant. In episode 62, Ling Rong started taking sketchy drugs so she could get thin and get the Emperor's attention. As both of them know, the drugs are such that she will never be able to carry a baby to term. The Empress makes it clear that having a baby isn't what's important, it's getting pregnant. Things are getting dark. Jin Huan decides it's now or never to get Yu Rao and the 19th Prince's marriage approved. She takes the emperor out for a walk. They happen across Yu Rao and the 19th prince looking like a couple of lovebirds. The emperor is annoyed, but it looks like this had the intended effect. He sees Yu Rao in private. I have to compliment her. As young as she is, as scary as the situation is, she does well walking the line between standing up for herself and not being impertinent. She makes it clear that she knows what he wants and knows that he can force her, but to what end? Why ruin her life and make Junhuan unhappy because she slightly resembles his dead wife? She has someone she loves and the opportunity to live and be happy with him. If he really likes her, could he not grant her that wish instead? Miraculously, the emperor sees the light. He agrees to the marriage. The Empress Zoujer is on her deathbed. She begins to worry about whether she's made the right decision protecting the Empress all this time. Yes, you, you were totally wrong. Is that even a question? Yes. Knowing the end is near, she asks for paper and ink so she can write a last testament. I truly thought this was going to be about exposing the Empress so she could do one good deed before she died, but no. She is the worst person in the world. Huge skank, terrible. Yu Rao and the 19th prince get married. By the way, how lucky is Jun Huan's family? Three daughters and they all married into the royal family. Even the daughter that was a product of cheating. Just after the wedding, a servant comes to tell the emperor that the empress dowager is close to death. Barely hanging on, the empress dowager uses her last breaths to berate the emperor for how he has treated his brothers. We know the 17th and 19th prince well, but most of the rest of them are dead or imprisoned. After the last emperor died, there was a huge fight for the throne with lots of backstabbing and actual stabbing, and a lot of the relationships still haven't been repaired. The emperor returns that her hands aren't clean either, bringing up Long Ke Duo, who he made her kill, but okay. Guys, why would you want your last conversation to be an argument? Without reconciliation, she dies. Is it mean to say good riddance? Other than being nice to Meizhuang, nothing good ever came from the Empress Dowager. A few months later, Ling Rong reveals that she is pregnant. The Empress pushes aggressively for the Emperor to promote her to consort and forgive her father, knowing that they only have a few months to squeeze as much out of the pregnancy as they can. Ling Rong will miscarry, it's just a matter of when. As far as Jin Huan knows, this is a healthy miracle baby that will make it to term, so she needs to start making plans for those in her camp. Jin Huan is currently a noble consort. The emperor actually wants to promote her to imperial noble consort, but Jin Huan encourages him to put Duan Fei in that position instead, since she's been here the longest. 
Jingfei is promoted to Noble Consort, the same position as Jun Huan's. This means that with the top three positions filled, Li Rong has no more room for promotion. And it makes Jun Huan look really good because she didn't ask for anything for herself. Xin and Lan Yi are promoted as well. A few months into Ling Rong's pregnancy, Jun Huan finally makes a visit. While they are still publicly friends, it kind of cracks me up that they pretend at civility after the slapping Jun Huan gave her. Jun Huan is here for appearances, but she doesn't forget to be careful. She gives Ling Rong some gifts, but makes Ling Rong's personal doctor check each and every item and confirm in front of everyone that there's nothing wrong with them. She compliments Ling Rong's palace, but draws attention to the expensive items, making the other women jealous. Each and every move is calculated. She also does some recon. She sends her servant to snoop around during the visit and he finds some of the aphrodisiac drug that Ling Rong used to use to keep the emperor coming back to her palace. She also has her doctor sniff around and he finds out that Ling Rong is using strong drugs that are just barely keeping her pregnancy together. I am so glad that whole Emperor and Yura thing is over. I gagged every time I saw those creepy interactions. And this is literally the one and only happy couple in this drama. Well, Su Sheng and Jingxi, I guess. As for the death of the Empress Dowager, really, I couldn't care less. All she ever did was protect the Empress and feel sorry for herself. It's not that I don't understand her motives, I really do. She feels a responsibility to her clan and doesn't want to bring her entire family down because of one person. It's understandable, but that doesn't make her a compelling character. 70% of her screen time was her in bed crying, I told the Empress not to do bad things anymore, why isn't she listening to me? So anyway, hooray for all the promotions. You can just see how bitter the Empress is. She finally got a promotion for Ling Rong, but in the meantime, Jun Huan got four. And she can't complain at all about Jun Huan because technically Jun Huan didn't get a thing and actually asked for someone to be promoted above her. A really great move. Till next time, thanks for watching.